Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Did I just do the shoe jump off of a goat feeder that's brand new that we're about to put in the pen? I sure freaking did. Anyways, how's it going, folks? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. We have something very special planned, something that we've been thinking about, contemplating for quite some time now, and it is taking one of our farm animals to the animal auction. Now, you guys can probably guess which one we're going to take, but you guys will have to just wait and see. But first, we do have this brand new goat feeder, sheep feeder, donkey feeder, hay feeder. Things pretty sick. You have to undo this doohickey here goes like this then you can lift it up and it fits two square bales and it's got a little tray to catch it you guys see how much hay we freaking waste now we've got this thing it's got a, a cover on it some guy basically on, i think it was on facebook marketplace built this thing for me so shout out to you my guy for uh for hooking it up it's something that i wanted to build personally but not having a garage not having a shop in it being 25 degrees out you know i don't really want to build one of these things this is like more of a summer project so if we want to build another one or we need another feeder i do want to build it myself plus we have now kind of like a model to go off of i think it's pretty sick one thing about this thing is it is extremely heavy like crow you're trying to catch this smoke or what anyways we um we need to get this thing loaded up we're thinking probably put it on this trailer put the trailer on my truck put that on the trailer drive my truck down to the animals try to unload it and we'll see how it goes I mean, we've got three beef cakes here so i think we'll be all right but it is pretty darn heavy someone else brought this to my attention too like i don't like goats like eating wood I'm not really sure how that's going to work. Like someone was like, they're just going to eat that thing. I'm like, well, the dude who builds it said he builds them for goats and he has them for goats. They might just eat this and die. I, I don't know. Maybe that might, that very well could happen. I don't know how, what you would do to even prevent that from happening. But I mean, I've seen YouTubers have like these little wood structures like this. I guess it depends on what kind of wood he used. I don't really know what he used. Anyways, I'm done talking. We're going to load this thing up. We're going to take it down, get it set up. That way we don't have to waste so much freaking hay. That way like it catches it. And, and basically we don't waste hay. We don't waste money and the animals have a nice dry place so like even if it snows tomorrow we don't have to go out there and throw more hay on the ground they'll be good to go so anyways let's get this thing loaded up what up puppy how's it going well we made it down to where all the animals are this should be interesting we gotta open the gate really wide to get that feeder in without you see dale he D D dale he put, he's putting his back foot on the fence like he's about to hop it. Dale, relax, my guy. Oh my gosh, he's crazy. We need to try to basically get this in there. I think the strat would be dump some feed and get them distracted and then like haul ass to basically get that feeder in there. Tom, how's it going, Tom? How's it going, buddy? Anyways, let's see if we can get this in. I would take them way down yeah, Come on, go, 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 go. One, two, three. Yep. All right. Clear the fence or the gate? Yeah. What do you think about the baby goats? I think they, 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 can get up in there. they can get up in there. They they can jump in there. Chill. Hey, calm down, buddy. They can, look. See? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, look, look at them. Look at them. See, that's what they'll do. That way they yep. can kind of get up there and be there, like do their own thing. This yeah. should be good. All right, let's try putting some hay in and see what happens. Okay. Oh God, yeah. I guess, hey, the only the only thing is they're not gonna be able to get to the back side. Yeah. Having them E360, I think would probably be best because otherwise they're all crammed on that side. Yeah, let's move it. Is that, is that enough? Yeah, that's enough for sure, yeah. Oh dude, this thing's sick. Dude, you can load this thing up. Yeah. You could probably put like two, two and a half bales in it. It's gonna be so nice not having to come down like twice a day to throw them feed and stuff. It'll be interesting to see what kind of happens when it snows, if this gets covered or not, but everything's liking it so far. Everything can eat and everything that gets wasted falls into those trays. And as we already saw the babies just jump up there, all these animals can eat. Now their feet doesn't get wet and life's good. As long as Buddy doesn't try to jump on it and then knock it over, because that's definitely a possibility with Beefcake McGee over here. So anyways, feeder is done. I've never seen him go. Cannot do this. They're crazy. Did you see Dale, Dale about hopped the whole thing? That's why I'm, wor I'm worried Rick's gonna do that. Speaking of that, that, that kind of leads into what we're doing here. So we are taking an animal to the auction today, okay? It is a goat and his name's Felipe. And it's not just because we don't like him. He's not my favorite for sure. He has been bullying Rick since day one. I thought they would kind of get along. I mean, I know they're two bucks and you're not supposed to put two bucks together sometimes. He's been bullying him. Karen has was with him for like three months 
and she's still not pregnant, which was kind of the whole goal. As soon as she got pregnant, we were gonna give Felipe, you know, go sell him to, in the auction so somebody else can have him to breed. I mean, that's, it's not that like we're selling him for meat. He's not a meat goat, he's a milk goat. So he's gonna get purchased to then go breed with another herd of goats. So we want him to go breed with other, another herd. I don't know if he's shooting blanks or if Karen like can't get pregnant for some reason or whatever it might be. Like that's not, it's, it's more just like one, we don't really like him. Two, he's bullying Rick. We try to put Karen back and like they're just not getting along. And overall, you guys have been telling us you should get rid of Felipe. So we are going to be taking him to the auction, which means we want to bring Rick and Karen over here. I want all the animals in this one pen. I don't like having them over there because I never get to hang out with Rick. Rick's an OG. I love Rick. Karen's the sweetest little girl ever. Sometimes, sometimes she's kind of a... We're going to bring them over. Hopefully they get along with these animals. I really hope Rick and Dale get along. They're the same breed. So if they start fighting and stuff, then we might have to figure it out. And like, I, I know what you guys think. Well, you could just bring Rick and Karen over and then leave Felipe by himself. But again, that's... I don't want to leave him by himself. That's lonely. I, although I don't really love Felipe that much. I don't want to have him go live his life by himself over there. Goats are like pack animals, just like dogs. They want to have people to hang out with. And we might just, you know, take him to the auction and, and a new farmer buys him and puts him in a herd of all these goats and he lives his best life on another happy farm. Again, he's not getting sold for meat, so it's, don't want any of you guys to get sad that we're attached to Felipe. We're taking him to a better home. But first, we need to bring Rick over here and Karen to make sure that they get along with these guys. And then all the animals are going to be in one big enclosure. So this should be interesting. <laughs> Let's go, Felipe, it's, it's your last day here at the Flair Farm, but we're gonna take you to a new farm, okay? It'll be well, we're not gonna take you to farm. We're gonna take you to the auction, which will get which will get purchased for a new farm. But dude, his horns have gotten so much bigger since we've gotten him. Yeah. And his beard, you know, it's a little goatee action. Yeah. But he's starting to look like a beefcake now. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. You want him to rip? Yeah. All right, this is the last day. Oh, we gotta hide the chicken feed then. Coming for well, it's Felipe's last day, so we're gonna let him have free range for a bit. He can kind of live his best life for the last day here. You know, I don't want it to be like, I don't want this thing to be like a sad moment, okay? He's moving on to bigger and better things. It's like a promotion. Rick, you wanna come hang out? You want some grain, my guy? Oh yeah, you haven't had grain in a little while, huh, Bubba? He's in. We need to get Karen in here, though. She's just out grazing. We got, we got Rick in here. Rick! This is your new home, my guy. What do you think? I know you get fresh hay, you get grain every day. You get to hang out with sheep and donkeys. Oh, he's meeting Dale. Hey, Rick, do not be mean to Dale. Rick, Rick, do not be mean to Dale. He is my favorite. I will protect him with my life. He's a friend. He looks just like you. He's like your cousin or something, but you don't, he doesn't have horns. Hey, why are you fighting the sheep, bro? What'd they do to you? Hey, 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 sheep are friends. You wanna fight somebody? Let's go, buddy. Oh, square up, let's go, son. Come on. Oh, let's go. Come on. Yeah, that's what I thought. Don't hurt the animals, all right? You want Karen? <sighs> yeah, let's get Karen in here. Come on, Karen. Good girl. All right, Felipe's the only one not in. So this is the new squad. Six six goats, three sheep, so nine. 11 animals in here. Hey, 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 that is, wait, hey, listen. You're gonna go back in the naughty pen. Why are you fighting everybody? Dale likes it though. Dale's a beef kick. he can handle it. Maybe they're just playing. Let me know, are they playing or are they fighting? Rick. You gotta be nice, buddy. They're your friends. See? Sheep and goat kisses. That's what I'm talking about, my guy. Look at Karen. Karen's even fighting with the, the mama over there. Buttercup. Buttercup's trying to square up. Everything's, everything's fighting today. Would you guys just relax? What do you think this is? Just calm down, all right? <sighs> well, hopefully nothing kills anything. I know they're, they're probably just playing. Like, if they were really trying to hurt each other, I think it'd be a lot worse. They're maybe just asserting dominance or something. I have no idea why a sheep is picking a fight with Rick right now. That is beyond me because they're, it's, a, it's a girl. It's a you. Like, it's not a ram, I guess. I'm gonna kind of hang out with these guys just to make sure there's no real confrontation. I think Karen will be fine. Karen lived with these guys for like a month. It's Rick is the new addition. The only the only ones that I see having a huge issue right now is the sheep and Rick. I don't know what their deal is, but they keep kind of going back and forth. I thought it, I thought it'd be Rick and, and Dale for sure. They seem to be getting along. Rick hasn't even noticed that there's two donkeys in here, so we'll see what happens when he notices that. But I don't know if they're just Rick. What's going on, buddy? Quit trying to headbutt. Hey, quit trying to headbutt everybody. I've seen him when he's really pissed though. He's not really mad. He's just kind of doing like a. What's up, man? Like, you know, kind of like Nux. Like, John, you gonna be Nux? It's kind of like that. That's Rick's version of Nux. We're good to go. I think the chickens are doing chicken things, but like I said, we're just gonna watch these guys for a little bit. Make sure we don't have any issues and then load up Felipe and take him to the auction. Felipe, it's your time, my guy. Look, Rick's getting along just fine. Hope you guys enjoyed the feeding time. Oh, I just said, Rick, I was just, would you stop it? I was just complimenting you. 
How's it going, buddy? I know you're still my favorite. Don't tell Rick. I was just saying they were getting along. I don't know what, what his strat is. They were doing just fine. Both of you guys enjoyed the time of some eating. If you guys, if that's something you guys want to see more, let me know. Um, and we're going to try to load up Felipe. We're running out of time here. We got we to gotta kind of have to hurry, but we've got the cage rigged up here. We've got a nice tarp in it, blanket for him, so he'll stay nice and warm. I mean, it shouldn't really be too bad on the drive because we've got this tarp right here and that'll block like the wind coming down again. We've got a little towel in there for him to lay on and stuff like that. It shouldn't be that cold. I think he'll be all right. So you ready, buddy? Yeah, you don't seem ready. He doesn't know what's going on. It's Felipe's time to go back to the auction and we're gonna stay, we're gonna stay and we're gonna go sit in the arena and watch. I wanna see how much he gets bid for because I think I paid like a hundred bucks for him. That's one, one thing that's interesting. Two, I wanna just see who he gets sold to or and just kinda see how it all goes and stuff. I've never sold an animal at the auction so I don't even know what happens. I don't even know like how much I make from it so we'll just kinda see what happens but I gotta go wrangle this guy up now so stay tuned. Come on Bubba, let's go, we're going. All right. so I'm gonna probably need you to hold his horns. Stop! There you go, Bubba. He still fits. Oh yeah, he's good. All right, he's loaded up. Tom. Tom. Chill. Quit trying to square up on everybody. You're like Rick. Everybody just wants to fight. All right, time to go to the auction. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it down to the auction. Felipe, how's it going, my guy? You stay nice and warm. What's up, my guy? How's it going, buddy? We gotta go get you checked in, all right? You just just hold tight. Uh, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna go inside and see what the protocol is. We made it with 20 minutes to spare. We gotta go check him in, and we found out where we, we went back and looked. He is 75% Alpine and 25% La Mancha, La Mancha, which are the ones without the ears. And Karen's 50-50, half La Mancha, half Alpine. But I don't know, they just weren't meant to be. So we're gonna go ahead and get him checked in, and then you gotta you have to back up like this guy's doing right here, and then they put him in that chute, and then they kind of have like a holding cell. So we'll go, we'll see him, and uh, we'll see him kind of hang out, and then obviously see what else they have for sale. Maybe we'll go home with something because we got the kennel. Maybe Maybe we'll get rid of Felipe and bring home another animal, so stay tuned. Come on, Bubba. There you go. Come on, Felipe. There you go, buddy. Get your pen. Felipe, how's it going, bud? This is, just, this is just temporary, okay? You'll find a new home soon. This is where you hang out. Don't jump out. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. We'll see you, uh, we'll see you in the arena, my guy. Oh, what up, sheep? How's it going, sheep? Look at them, they're so cute. They, see, I don't know what the difference is. They like ours have the, the black face on. These guys have the white. Yeah. So they're two different, different breeds. breeds. Those are cute. I love sheep though. Sheep just they're, they're so chill. Let's keep looking. Maybe there's something we can take home. What up, donkey? Dude, the thing is massive. It's just a smaller It's horse. just a horse. Yeah. See, the thing about that, I feel like it would kick my ass. You know? You got, I'm like trying to stay at the level of ma like management Millie level. Could to not where, like, be in there with that. No, if Millie walked in and that thing was there, Millie would probably die, which wouldn't be good. I do want a full size donkey, but again, maybe that's where we either split the big pen that we have now, or we put a couple animals in that small pen that we took Felipe out of. Like that could be an option. Maybe we just put the donkeys over them. That's just the donkey pen. Definitely an option. I don't have a trailer though, big enough for that guy for today. So I don't think it's gonna happen. There's, oh God, there's a whole other room. How's it going, little sheep? Or these are goats, I guess. How's it going, little goat? Oh, God. What's this guy here? Whoa. It is pretty friendly. Yeah. He must have cut his horns. Yeah. It's probably. That's what thing. we need. Yeah. Yeah, we need one that doesn't have horns. That is a beefcake, dude. Look how big that thing is. You could definitely ride that, Bonzo. Oh, yeah. You don't even need a horse. Just get one of these. What do they call that where you have kids get on it? I've never Mutton done that. Mutton busting. What's it called? Mutton busting. Yeah. Mutton busting. When you just ride sheep? Yeah. It's at rodeos. Oh, buddy. I never did it. John's oh, big Oh, you're it. so cute. Oh, you're so nice. Feel how much like, wool he has on. Oh, my God. So much. Oh, God. Oh, this is Felipe. Uh-oh. Oh, there you go, buddy. He's already getting bossed around. This is good. This is good for him. I don't know if we should buy something or not. I can't decide. Dude, these are cute. And they're all shaved. Oh yeah, they're naked. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna do that to our sheep in the spring. Yeah. You wanna you wanna shave a sheep? Oh yeah. Make them look naked. And then we have wool for uh for traps. Yeah. For trapping. That's good. Oh, oh. Look at this guy. Dude, I want this one. What is this? It's just belly. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's huge. You like if you gave Rick Roids. This is him. Look at those horns, bro. Dude, no fence that we've built in our entire lives would ever hold that. No. Not a chance. Like, you would have to... Oh, my God. Look at him. You know, dude, he kind of looks like a freaking bison. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, not the horns, but like the face shaped like a bison. Dude. That's scary. <laughs> bro. Did you what? Did that you know pig, Did you know pigs got that big? Oh, my God. 
Wow, I see, I can definitely see you being able to ride that. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I didn't know they got that thing. This thing's massive. Like, the small ones are as big as the biggest ones I've seen before. Bro, it's like Again, just not ready for that. That thing gets out of its pen, it's gonna be a wild hog, and then it's just on the loose. There's no way I could contain that. But this is what you need. Oh, look at these babies. How's it going, little guys? Oh, look at them. They're so cute. What do you, so how do you, I don't know how to take care of pigs though. Like, dude, is it anything different to like what we have now? Like if we put, if we put them in that silo, would they be fine or no? Probably just different feed. I guess it's just some different feed. Dude, that would be perfect though, just to have like a little like group like this. Five little pigs running pretty around. Pretty cute. They are pretty cute. And they taste delicious. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's kind of like a spring thing a little bit. We need to let it warm up a little bit. Well, folks, we are outside now. The amount of food here is insane. It's probably at least 10 times what I've ever seen here. I mean, it's snacks, like Snickers, like good stuff. So we might buy, I mean, Sour Patch Kids gum. Who doesn't like that? You see snacks, you ever had these? Uh -huh. Me neither, let's buy some. They're, they're starting the auction down there. I mean, the amount of food here is insane. I, I literally think a grocery store might have gone out of business because like, what's weird is like these, they have like prices on them. So like, it all came from, I think grocery store went out of business and they brought them over here. That's the only thing I can think of. So we're gonna try to buy some snacks. I'm freaking starving, but I need some food. I'm starving. <laughs> I was just trying to get some little Debbies, man. Chicken attacked me out of nowhere. I did not expect that. You ever swear up on a random chicken and get your ass kicked? I was very happy. I tried to help him. I tripped him on accident. When I dove, he ran over my legs. And he, he didn't go through your legs, he, the chicken? He, he, he face planted. And it probably hurts. He fell on the rock. I definitely tripped him. I'm sorry. I just saw a chicken come out. Why does that always happen? Literally, we're standing here. I'm waiting to bid. And the chicken came and squared up on me. And I lost. Now I really need food. What do we got here? Tropicana Kids, mixed berry. Buy any packs right here. Any package right here. I'm just gonna do it the easy way. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Eight times the money. 50, 75. 50, uh, 75, dollar, a quarter. Dollar and a quarter, dollar and a half. 75, 75, 75, now two. Sold them a dollar, 75. Four, three, one. You guys on YouTube all the time. Yeah, that right? Oh yeah, we got the oh, goods, boys. Look at the treats there, folks. I'm pretty sure I just paid 25 cents below MSRP for these. See, I thought he said, I'm just gonna do this easy way, and that was for all of them. Maybe not. Maybe it's times the money. I'm pretty sure it's times the money, because he counted them. I think I just got murked. <laughs> Bonzo really wanted this, though, so. I wanted, like, one pack. I was like, ooh, that looks good. Well, now we can feed everybody. We need to go back and get food, though. This is just our, yeah. this is just our drink. Thank you. Rice Krispie bars. Wow. Tell you what, buy all that one money. Two, three. I'm gonna get three and a half, I'm gonna get three and a half, I'm gonna get three and a half, three, three and a half. Sold three dollars. Four, three, one. Four, three, one takes it. Well, that is not what I had anticipated. How much did you buy for this for? I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I was planning on buying a bunch of little Debbies, like good stuff. But then I'm like, you know, Bonzo could really use this giant thing of pineapple. He's got a date later tonight. So then he ended up combining it with a bunch of freaking garbage yeah. organic Rice Krispies. So I'm like, well now I don't need anything because these will be our snacks. So this is for tonight. These are our snacks. We've got our drink. We're gonna go feast. There's nothing else here that I want. And then we gotta wait for Felipe to get auctioned off. <laughs> I'm so bummed. Like, it's made with freaking quinoa crisps. Like, I wanted zebra cakes. You might be thinking, why didn't you just buy the zebra cakes? The problem was, I bought this and then the whole, he was selling the whole lot next to it and I didn't want that many zebra cakes. He ran cakes. out of money, just say it. I, I, I'm broke. But anyways, this is what Bonzo, Bonzo picked this one out. I've never had this, but. Tropicana good. Kids Watermelon. It's like a Capri Sun ripoff. Probably tastes better than oh, Capri Sun. Healthy version or something? Maybe. Let's see, is it healthy? It's actually not that bad for you. Insert straw here. There we go. Oh, not even close as good as Capri Sun. I mean, it's all right, but it's nothing special. Yeah, no, that's garbage. Let's see what these are. Yeah, we suck. Dude, we had the opportunity. I think a grocery store or a gas station went out of business, and we literally came out with the two most garbage. Oh, this is just not going to be good. I didn't eat cheap. Should we go back and buy something better? That is crap. No, they're not that good. I'm just that's so gross. hungry. I'm just so hungry. Right now we have like two more hours before Felipe gets auctioned off, so I think we're gonna run into town, grab some real food, because I suck at buying stuff from the auction, come back and see how much Felipe gets sold for. Stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks, 
it's been about 30 45 minutes we, we went to town and got some food feeling good got a nice full belly and we're walking back in to see if felipe is on his way to get sold we got to go see what they're doing inside the arena if they've got started or not they should have started about half an hour ago but there's just so many things here especially with that grocery store or whatever going out of business it seems like they're working a little bit slower today and if not we'll go show you guys i think they had some parakeets in there a bunch of weird like chickens and stuff like that so we'll see what it looks like I just about bought that. I'm so good. <laughs> For some reason, I was like, oh, we could use another sheep. It's a different kind of sheep. It's cute. It's a girl. It's a baby. That thing is freaking nuts. My boy Felipe, come on, Felipe. He's a good looking guy. He went $130. I made 30 bucks. No, you can get all the money. I think they only take like, they don't take that much. Oh, really? No. I thought they did like 50%. No, 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 it's better than that. Yeah. 130 bucks. Well, let's go cash out. Shee Well, we are leaving the auction. Felipe sold for 130 bucks. I bought them for 100, but after they take. So we, we read 5%. But then my check was like $95. Now I dropped out of college, you know, but I don't think 5% of 130 is like $35. So I don't know where I got screwed over on that. Not sure, maybe it wasn't 5%. I mean, either way, not that big of a deal. I still almost broke even. I spent 100 bucks, made 95, and we had the pleasure of having Felipe as a pet for a total of, how many months was that, four, five? Just way too long. Anyways, we're headed back home. Shoo! Well, folks, we're back. How's it going? How's it going to Rick? What's up? It's weird to see Rick in here. Look at Rick. What's up, my guy? You didn't break out. Where's your buddy Felipe? He's gone, and you hate him, and so did everybody else here, so it's a good thing. And he was a bully. You don't have a bully anymore. You, oh, you are the bully. How's it going, buddy? Hey, hey, you be nice to Dale. I'll beat you. Just kidding. I don't promote animal cruelty. It's, it's just a joke. I'm not actually physically harming anybody. All right? How's it going, Rick? He's a good boy. He's a good boy, Dale. Yeah, you was a good sheep. All right, we've got a treat for you guys, okay? We didn't buy anything at the auction for these guys. We bought some crappy Rice Krispie trips. Rice Krispie trips? Rice Krispie treats! And um, so on our way home, we stopped at Bonzo's favorite spot, Tarjay, and we got some little watermelons and some cabbage and some grapes and some cantaloupe and yeah, apples too. We Oh, 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 here, here's, here, let me, here, trade me real quick. What up, chickens and turkey? You guys want some of this? I'm spike it. Ha! Sheep! Ha! Cool! Ha! There you go. You guys want some of that? <laughs> Millie, Millie, this was not for you. Oh, Quacky. Quacky, oh, Quacky got the whole watermelon over there. <laughs> hey, chicken, here you go. Yeah, look, it's watermelon. Millie loves the watermelon, huh, buddy? Oh, yeah. Is this for the goats or them? I don't know. I mean, either one. What do you think? <laughs> goats. All right, ready? Ha, two, shot. Ha, Oh, you're going to hit one. No, I'm not. There you go, go get it. They're all right. Uh, oh yeah, Karen likes it. Oh God, she's tearing it. We should, wait, let's go in there and let's go watch Karen. All the, chi the chickens are entertained. I'll give them some grapes. You got them grapes in there? Chickens uh, love the grapes. Here you go, guys. There you go. All right, what up? Do you guys like it or no? We'll give it to the chickens if you don't. Hey. Maybe they, they might not like cantaloupe. No, I think they do, it just wasn't open. Really? I don't know, maybe not. Maybe not the sheep. Karen will, look at her. Karen will mark. Really, Karen. Oh, you guys don't like that, huh? Chill. Rick, quit being so mean. You want some cabbage? Dale. Hey, don't eat the bag. You be nice to your freaking little cousin Dale, all right? No more of this head button. Okay. Rick's about to eat this whole freaking head of lettuce here, cabbage, whatever it is. All right, here, I'll, let me set this on the ground and get the rest of the folks here something to eat. What else we got? More heads of cap. No, no, that's what you get. You get what you get and you don't oh, throw a fit. Donkey's chasing Millie. Uh-oh, Millie, don't die. Hey, here you go. You want some lettuce? You want some Felicia? Felicia, you don't want that smoke? 
Come on, Felicia. Oh, God. Hey, why are you so mean? All right. Donkeys like apples? They should. Here, you hold that. There you go. What that mouth do, Rick? Rick, Rick's being, I think Rick took Felipe's position as kind of the, the jerk, man. He's not like, he's not as bad as Felipe. See? You need to relax. You need to be nice to Dale and everybody else. Don't be so mean. Look at Karen, he's murking. He's murking the lettuce. Donkeys are eating it. Oh, the donkey got the whole, oh, look at the donkey. Look at the sheep. The sheep's eating the apple. Look at the donkey, has got the whole head of cabbage. Comment down below, what else should we feed these guys? I know we've done a feeding Ow. video before. You know, we figured it's it's a nice change of pace from the grain and from the hay and stuff like that. Obviously that's a necessity, but being able to come in here and give these guys some lettuce and good nutritious stuff. Let us know, what else do goats love? Donkeys love, sheep love, that, uh, you know, it's fairly cheap. Go get in the grocery store. They, they didn't eat that much. Here you go, chicken, you want one? Get that apple. Oh, Quacky's going to the apple. There's no way Quacky's gonna be able to eat that thing. He needs, a pe he needs a better pecker. <laughs> Tom, Tom, come get you some watermelon. Get some watermelon. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? <laughs> come get some watermelon. Hey, you want some? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Bro. Champ, hey, Tom, back up. Holy what? cow. Tom just merged John. Holy cow. You trying to beat you up or what? Yeah, bro. He just like, he was scaring me, bro. He yeah. just has to assert his dominance, oh. bro. Why is that everything want to fight? Okay, we got Rick that wants to fight everything. He even wants to fight me. You got Tom who just literally punched John. I'm over here trying to feed all the animals and make them happy. And this is what we get. Everybody trying to freaking square up. Oh, the chickens are eating. That's good. They were, it was weird. They were eating just the seeds, but it seems like everything's enjoying food. Tom's trying to kill John. We have Rick that's just trying to fight everybody. But the good news is the entire time we were gone, which was like four or five hours, Rick didn't escape. Nothing escaped. And there's no electric fence on this one like there was in the other one, which is really nice. I don't want to have the electric fence. It sucked. It was annoying. It was really hard to interact with the animals that way. Tom's about to beat your ass again, buddy. Oh, what is deal, man? He just he just wants to box. Anyways, comment down below. What animals are we missing? I know you, you you might say pigs were working on it. Okay, we saw pigs today at the show. Not the kind of pigs I want. I have the species of the breed of pigs that I want. Um, they weren't there, so I, I know we want some pigs. But what else? You want you want to get a little pony for Bonzo to rip around in? Like he he's not allowed to drive anywhere. If he wants to get from point A to B anywhere at my house and on the farm, you have to take the pony. I feel like that's that would be interesting horse. for you guys or a horse, um, for that matter would be interesting as well. But comment down below. What other animals do you want us to? See? See, this is the very first time we've gotten rid of an animal. We've had some animals die and fly away. We've never had an animal that we've actually sold or given away or stuff like that. That's the first time we did it. And honestly, I feel like he's going to be in a better place because he's probably going to go breed with a whole bunch of goats and he'll be a happy camper. So let us know what we should get next. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and peace.